but yeah. ukwaz ukuthi mhlawumbe ngalanyo it's, it's not it's not a deal breaker for me i i think i appreciate that honesty because um it, it shows me that you realistic about the current relationship climate that we exist mm. in um we also exist in a space where we becoming more liberal about our truths yeah um uh, 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 somebody else I spoke to and and they said what the system created we actually lost what our forefathers were doing so the cre- the system reversed all of that and now we are fighting back to say this is actually who we are the system made it look as if impile pilwa or kokobit was wrong mm. so there are aspects of my life um that i will never reveal um that are between myself my family on the third day uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that one yeah like christ himself what was that about i don't even and know i don't know and you went to a fancy restaurant um, um in a beautiful place in south africa and he I'll left you with love them love them it's babe he's not circumcised I, mean, I, <laughs> yes. i mean not just so for more fundis and all of that oh, i mean i heard the, the audible voice of god it wasn't the decision it was a decision Um, just thanks thanks once again and the once again is intentional because people must know that a lot of things have been behind the scenes <laughs> a lot ne? it's a pleasure being back yeah yeah it feels like home now i'm sure oh so guys no kuthi khishi ngakuphi i know where to get the condiments for the food ne i love being here you look so beautiful you smell good i try to ne i try to ngabong it's uh, definitely in line with your business Um it is so the love for fragrance came first and okay. then and then I saw like okay let me try and make some coin out of this because I keep plugging about online about the fragrances that I wear people a lot of people compliment me with I smell good what are you wearing in Indian so I'm like okay I keep plugging other people and other people keep making money off of me let me see if I can make it a viable business interest as well so I've started um I've started selling fragrance. It is for another brand though. I'm yeah. just I'm just an agent. Okay. Um but ngizama ubona ukuthi i pick up ingakanani so that yeah, I can yeah. see if there is a market for my own line. I really would love to to explore my own fragrance line which would include home fragrances and and the like. So yeah. Let's see. Tena ma perfume man. Have to. Tena ma perfume man. I mean, the, the, it, it's critical to to, to diversify, yeah. especially, yeah. Um, and also to diversify into something that you genuinely enjoy. As you say, it's an organic progression. Yeah. As a person who loves fragrances and who always smells good, oh my gosh, I've never ever been in your presence and enjoyed smell. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so what's the length of it? I I realized when I sat down and I thought, so okay, where does my love for fragrance comes from? Come from? And I realized, Uguti, it started when I was a baby. Mm-hmm. Oh my used to smell really good. Na yewe it's and then it's and then no other one. But back in the day, there were very limited options in terms of um fragrance houses. It's either Estée Lauder or Clinique Red Door. <laughs> <laughs> so why it's and then it's but I think I think um get card the fashion. Um so she she never had a body odor a better. So lento azo hamba anuga yona exen me mi sebenzini uzobuye sendo exactly the same tamba. So when she uh, changed from her work clothes I I fucking but was like I'll take her bra I'll take her bra and I'll smell it and I'll just sit like I'm like and I'll be like this no go bra So that's where my love for fragrance comes from it's it started really young and I think I have I have my mom to thank for it she introduced me to fragrance because na go no when I started um developing into puberty me now I had a strong body odor okay Uh, so no, I knew I knew so she then um started buying fragrances for me my first perfume was red door no red door even also come moment also ah when my mom was concerned with me so yeah no she she spared she spared nothing if if she had to I'll come back to you mom yeah. I had baby tele on the show um a few weeks ago and um I, i speak about this because you you're definitely a woman who's gone through the the strides the difficulties of life mm-hmm. um you've had your fair share of experiences either in friendships relationships just all all, all sorts of aspects of your life 
Baby Phyllis said to me that on the backdrop of her revealing on the show that it was her third divorce that she just went through yeah. um, 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 about a year ago, she said, if there's two pieces of advice you should give to women, mm. one, you need to be realistic that you're not going to be the only one. Monogamy is unrealistic. It's a joke, my darling. And two, <laughs> <laughs> um, don't get married before the age of 40. Would, how would you say that applies to your life, if at all? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at it, um, I, I 100% agree mm. with, with, with baby. I think, um, especially in the South African landscape, because Tina Seabantu, well, this is just in Yaman, Seabantu, um, that got, that had, that had, um, by Isoka, normalized, mm-hmm. back from back in the day. Gisho, the apartheid system normalized Upsoka for Uwathoom Kulbetu no Bababetu because they had families back at home, but Umutumuntatu Yombege Mayim is a sekuli, Uzoba Nundi Nakon. And our grandmothers knew this. So, so in the school and I would say, Umutus Lisanje, I was Ubayet again. The sooner you come to terms with it, the better. Bakona, who are able to be um, monogamous men, and props, props to them. But I think the reality of things is Banani. Banani one that, that, that wants to be monogamous and faithful in their relationships. Um, but also uh, in terms of Isensa Sietu. Sbanig, we want to spazani overpower men mm-hmm. in terms of numbers by a great deal. So there aren't already enough men to go around. Um, so and some men are queer in that uh, you, you see, you see, you <laughs> see. So, Zigning is in um, that count against, I think, a monogamous society in the South African context. But then, why is it so um, normalized monogamy? And why, we sh- why is a person who does not practice monogamy shunned upon? It's, it's, what, it's what was created as the norm, mm-hmm. I think, in the area with our colonizers. Um, that we then were forced to buy into, but Ngesami, and I, I don't want to, to say Ngwesintu, but Ngesami, I don't believe Uguti Isintu um, is designed for one one. Mm-hmm. We're, we're people that believe in a sense of community, mm-hmm. um, and there being a greater sense of community in, in, in greater numbers. Right, um, so yeah, that's why I, mean, I I really don't think monogamy is is practical, mm-hmm. is realistic. So what's this being said? I I think was right. She hit the nail on the head with with this one. And and the second aspect, only getting married at the age of forty. Chow your life, Mutaba. <laughs> Listen, I I think about this first, and I don't realize how how much life there is to live and how enjoyable Imbilo is. Mm-hmm as a single woman from like 25 into your 30s is. Kumnandi mm-hmm. um, you know. Kumnandi ukuz taller without the pressure of having to tend to a family, tending to a man, because men need to be tended to, mm-hmm. just like babies. So, mengabe usuna leyo pressure as umundu spazani, who's still young, supposed to still find themselves. What do you like? What do you not like? Change your mind about certain things. Um, explore things on your own. Um, you can't really do that in in a marriage um, because there are there are there are expectations that come with being a wife. There are duties that come with being a wife. Um, so as a thirty-two year old Jabs, um, a thirty-two year old Mbali who is married with kids and a husband can't really do. Yeah. So I think you you limit yourself somewhat, um, but each to their own. Abanya feel grow together with your partner so that you're one solid unit. If it works for you, that's great. But I I think I I I have I have explored Ubmina. Um Kamnand Kungeki pressure and the So basically you wouldn't take offense if your current partner introduces another person. (laughs) (laughs) 
Ah, eu não fui. <risos> <risos> Temos stand as much? <risos> um, look, um, I, I, I'm, I'm realistic about, about things. Uh -huh. Olha, um, I know what it might happen, but I, I, I think in Amir Fanele, Nigus Katz, Wongo Muta Fanele, Nigus Katz. Usagus Katz, Asake Kalatina. Asake, the honeymoon phase. Yeah, I hear you. Asake, the honeymoon phase, and Gizwe, Namu goes, okay, no, we've settled into, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into, um, in Pilo that we're going to live until our twilight years. Mm. Um, but, Nakon, I thought, Manga, who can't get come guy, man, um, whew. There would be a lot to consider in terms of how I come to know of it. Because mm -hmm. that's also important. That's also important. But agioni te engang kuligis na pinkama manga. Agiona jinte engang kuligis sa agiona futsi into engati ingizo kishayon. I think there's bigger things that I hold in higher regard. There's nangi zuguti ingi pum entwing. Yeah, yeah. But ukwa zuguti klampingalano. Not, it's not a deal breaker for me. I, I think I appreciate that honesty because um, it, it shows me that you're realistic about the current relationship climate that we exist mm. in. Um, we also exist in a space where we're becoming more liberal about our truths. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 there's somebody else I spoke to and, and they said what the system created, we actually lost what our forefathers were doing. So the, cre the system reversed all of that and now we are fighting back to say this is actually who we are. The system made it look as if Impile Pilwa or Kokobit was wrong. Mm. And it wasn't. It was just different to what they, they knew mm. and what they were introducing to us and what they had forced down our throats. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with Impile Pilwa or Kokobit. Absolutely nothing. And I love the fact that we are now reclaiming it yeah. and owning it and going back to it or, or perhaps not fully going back to it, but but reintroducing it to to us, to to our age group, our our age mates, as another way of life mm. to explore. But but where do we find the balance, Jeffs? Because at the same time, you still want your autonomy and individuality mm. as as a woman in this modern day and age, and this polygamous setup. Makes it seem like Kunendo, head of the house, Babwe mm Kaya, who Nina Nama extensions are. Yeah. Why can't it be Japs who's polyamorous with Ama Doda Ake? Let's also be realistic about um, how polygamy works. I polygamy at the Nguti Utuchin is in God. You must know your story. Yeah. You can't just. Yeah. Um, because I was koka inganza bantu uzo shalisala mesu ya shutigis. That, that's unfair. Mm -hmm. But also, let's not act like it's only polygamy like that. Marriage also requires that, even if you're married to one woman. Okay, yeah. Um, kufanele na kona uchime, if uzufuna upusha um, the narrative of you being the man of the household. Because then, if, if you're gonna push that, then let's also extend it to the man of the household who provides, mm -hmm. right? So, but it's that much more okay when you have more than one partner, more than one wife, as Mundus says. Um, it differs with um, polyamory because then it would be the woman expected to be the provider, no? I think, I think if, because we like comparing things as like for like, mm. we, we're looking for an alpha woman here. Yeah? Akfan. Akfan. I, I don't like... I, I don't always like Lendo Guti if, if a man can do it um no spazana alaguins in the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm a strength aid to it as the, the different genders are fun. Mm -hmm. Um so there's things that a man can do and get away with and that's fine. Okay. But let's not expect no spazana to do the same and get away with. Mm -hmm. We can do our own things and get away with. But I'm obviously I can't do. So, it, 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 we're trying to compare apples with pears here, mm -hmm. and we're not going to win. Um, Nanoguti, we still live in a patriarchal society. Yeah. 
that let's have one piece and get away with a lot more. And as soon as Tina say have one zama ukwenza the same, we're going to find ourselves in constant frustration because that's just not how society is built. It's yeah. not built to have umundus pazane and a direct equal to umundus this. Umundus pazane who is more about. Oof. I'm not sure about the direct equal, mm. but Umundus Fazane who becomes a support to Umundus Lisa? There's Nakona Futi Irol Umundus Fazane, Iashinja, according to what context we're speaking about. Ekaya, for example, a fine in us in Sibenzin, right? So if we're going to want to compete with Aban Bis Lisa and, and, and have it um, make more sense i'm struggling to articulate it guys but i think we can fight for equality in the workspace um more than we can ekaya because ekaya now says kuluma nguti like higher when you work and this is how we rule our household um and you can't want to apply the same rules like as you want La mm -hmm. we do, we're dealing with different with different people and, and different circumstances but i think it's different in the workplace in the workplace um that's where i feel we need to kind of be more deliberate and be more um forceful um with 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 leveling things because that's where our livelihoods stem from that's where um the progression of society stems from nasakaya sure um but i i find would seem to be the bigger fight needs to be um in the workplace because mm. it's, it's not something that is a huge concern yeah. of mine um you said said in zine that where i feel that needs to be done there are you ready to get married uh, uh I think do I want to get married is the correct question. Okay. Um I think Okay. Fair. Um so I, I don't feel what you call it. Okay. Um I I I I'm not looking for any change. I'm comfortable. At the moment. At the moment. I'm yeah. comfortable, I'm happy. Um, I've noticed that you're very intentional about how you position yourself on Twitter. You also, you're almost not there. Yeah. Why? Why is that the case? Um, it, I don't like what Twitter is now. Yeah. Twitter is vile. It's like I'm about to wake up in the morning and they're like, how can I ruin someone's day? Um, yeah. And I, I don't want to constantly expose myself or engage in um, You have people that look for problems where there aren't any. Mm -hmm. you, look, you have people that amplify in their own personal lives would not be as big a deal. But mm -hmm. because Sick Figure on a, on, on a platform like Twitter, now it's it's it, no man. I don't, I don't think that place is normal. It's demonic. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but the funny thing is, it is people we hang around with that it are is. on that platform. So what makes them change there? And that's why it's so scary, Lungel. You like, but then shall I now in Germany? Yeah. I'm Jane now. I'm in Kim now. Ye ni po ebesia shinja when you are on this platform. Um, I think we have. Social media, I think in general, but especially Twitter, mm. has given us an amplified and hyperbolized sense of, of bravado that lacks reasoning and that lacks logic and that lacks humanity. Mm -hmm. So, because for a large part of the Twitter experience, I was a for for a large part 
especially like umuntu like me who's got i don't know like 20 something thousand followers i'm not going to meet all those people of, of course so you go crazy if you meet those exactly <laughs> now no one engage and i we as would say i can say no my name it's one just you know you know um so that's what i think gives people a, a um uh, just an, an insane amount of balls mm-hmm. because for the we analyze the land it's not like Lavandu listen that was show you on twitter and 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 the vitriol that's spewed on there are things that they can say to you mrs beginner and they can't it's just it's it's a provider that comes with the anonymity um that that social media gives us to to a certain extent an, an extension to the vitriol and the just the entire unfairness that we now treat our uh, uh, each other with as, mm. as 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 humanity do you think we 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 have a crisis in Durban um i know that sometimes social media amplifies things to look bigger than they are but people are losing their lives in Durban mm. Mm. um and in an unfair way it's mm. not just because of sickness and natural deaths people are actually losing their lives because of violence um like as a woman do you feel safe in Durban I don't feel safe in South Africa it's it's not a Durban thing mm. I think it it's it's a South African thing we know that we have a crisis in the country but more especially where um women and safety is concerned um but to bring it back to the to to Durban Durban hasn't been safe for a long time mm. KZN hasn't been safe for a long time we know what they were killing is Eclipse Eclipse hostel mm. um there's there's been killings in my hostel since since yeah but i think the reason why it seems like it's amplified or it seems like it's getting worse now is because about the babula why about this buzz about this fella now it's pulling up when we can't we have dinner with them we bump into them at crew mm. um and now it's these people that are dying so it seems now ukuthi um or rather the the alarm is being sounded now more than before because it's getting closer to us you know now what's his snap kungenze akuba mimi nokuthulwayo lapha on florida road when i go next week friday with my friends so now we we getting more nervous it's not something new with bulo abantu kanjena it's been happening but they went zaka kulu in places that we don't frequent and we and we let it uh, sorry not yeah. that we let it but sastule mm, mm, mm. yes yes and now yes. it's making it roads to us close to home. and that's the only reason why we're so nervous and uh, you can tell that the, the more famous the person it happens to all of a sudden it's a big deal we know sure. many many thousands were losing their lives in those same spots yeah but also that's not to say it's just because um the noise is amplified now with the loss of um a celebrity who would see their lives should should have been lost or funneling a big to you and again no i i don't think that's that's what we're saying here it's just that it it hurts when there was so much silence before um and now it seems like their lives didn't matter and only this life matters your 18 fresh out of school 17 17 yeah. oh the early girl just a fool thank you that is yeah you're 17 you fresh out of school do do you are you seeing yourself as in jab as jabs the as jabs is one or you still know jab who thinks she's going to be a lawyer journalist I whatever th- i thought i was going to be a psychologist really yeah um but I don't think it was rooted in me actually liking the 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 study of psychology. Mm-hmm. Um I really didn't know what it is that I wanted to do, but I knew what the human connection in Gaitan. Mm-hmm. I just I I lacked direction in terms of how that human connection would would lead me to where I'm supposed to be. Okay. So when I left Lady Smith and Hambangaya School and I studied um a BA uh, at Wits with uh, my major was psychology and sociology but then I just have bones in my mind sure I like human forming human connection and all that but I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be 
and me perhaps for a while then led me to where I'm supposed to be because I found my actual passion which is radio um, while I was in the wrong direction in varsity so your, your radio journey started in varsity yeah in, it did in voice of vets are you also a voice of no vets I'm actually not so I'm at vets ne? yeah um, and Ngangshala that's why in the end I was a bit tired. <laughs> not to, not to raise, um, South Point. Okay. I live living in South Point in Bram, and I've got no other form of entertainment. I'm not TV. I just have a radio. Okay. Um. So that's all I listen to. I'm I'm a huge YSM fan. Um. Every now and again, I'll switch to Kozi, but not quite. It's the the English stations that I like, like mm-hmm. or YFMs, your 947s, it was hype out back at, at, at that point. Um, Namasiti, I'm mm-hmm. a huge music fan. Um, so then I'm like, hey, I'm not in this red. 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 I mean, of course. <laughs> no, because I think now I, I, I got more exposed to people that actually spoke like me. Yes. You know, people who, who like the same things that I liked. Yeah. Because Les Odish is not big pillow. It was, it was, of course. Of course. <laughs> and that wasn't the style that I <laughs> that I really liked. But now, I'm like, actually, I'm an alarm lab. Yeah. Um, I identify with them. I like what they do. But my initial like also wasn't being the voice that echoed um, through the speakers, I wanted to find out what Les Ndabas show but how do, how do they know what to say? So I started winning Amatigiti to YFM parties. Mm-hmm. I, I used to win so often Lapana. The personalities at that point, but I didn't try it. By just seeing me yeah. in my party. Some of them used to think I worked there. <laughs> because if I wasn't winning tickets, I was buying my way into the parties. Oh, wow. But then I started second year of my varsity. Then I started banking Eskolini. Instead of Puma E Res Gie Eskolini, Gang Puma Gie E Estudio. Really? Like my class in? Yes. And then from my class in, they'd let me in. It was at the point where. Uh, it was. It was. Yeah. Um then I got What do you think sorry, what do you think makes a person do that? Because you're in a structured journey that mm. almost guarantees you some sort of success and income yeah. and you end, there is a vision, there's graduation at the end, but something within you that's in your soul that says this way it's a this fire way, this way yeah it's a fire i think we all have those moments where there's a fire burning i was now because we see why this has to happen but there's a, it's a fire mm. and unfortunately for some of us it dictates because you choose the direction that guarantees you a job that guarantees you a roof over your head mm. and umli is umli it burns for a while and then it starts fizzling off and then it's just ama, ama and, mm. and, and then it just dies. So I chose to follow the fire. Keep it burning. And and I, I fueled it. I fueled the fire. Because every day where I go to a radio station I was fueling the fire. So um Abandu they taught me to know there's there's a producer in radio, there's the, the main anchor, there's the co host, there's a traffic person and and and. Um then at the end of my second year, I come back home and I say to my aunt, Sabuil, with this, I'm dizzy, babes, I'm not going, I'm going to radio school. This is what I want to do. This is where I think um, I, I, I can make a, a notable difference in, in the world. Um, she wasn't happy. Of course. <laughs> my dad lost his mind. <laughs> Ubaba, Ubaba was like a, a lot of other parents right now. You're already in second year. Just hey, finish hey. this. Yeah. Hey, nah. Then you can do Lento if you But I knew that I was not going to do Lento if you do If If you do Lento of psychology and whatnot, what's the point of doing this? This 
this is my plan A and I don't need a plan B right now. Hectic. Let me just do my plan A and show you what I can actually do it. Yeah, yeah, this is never yeah, where I was yeah, supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I only did it because I had to go to school. Um, so yeah, the, the rest is history. I, I, did, um, I went to radio school, the National Electronics Media Institute of South Africa. I did that, got into the industry and... Crazy. That's in, that. in a world that is obsessed with, um, with security, yeah. in a world that teaches people that have plan A, plan B, plan mm. C, you're saying in order to almost reach the top yeah. of the space that you're in, you need to be social of your plan A. In the of dictates what you find in the world. Fortune favors the brave. And I think that's something I live by in every aspect of my life. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say this is where I'm going. If I fail, I fail. But I, I am sure of, of this for now. And there's nothing wrong with changing your mind. There's nothing wrong with failing in something that you did with all your heart and all your might. Um, it just says in you need to tweak la pan la pan or to change the direction just a little bit. But for me, something that I always look for, even in Abantu that say they want to be in the industry, I look for, are you brave? Are you sure? Um, and if you, you still want to hold on to something else, but want to explore this as an option, mm -hmm. then I know, that, I know it's not for you. You're not ready for, for where you need to be, and you're not ready for where the space might take you. Yeah. But it's been, it's been in all aspects of life. What has been your lowest moment on radio? Having to fight so much. Giving guys who would see contribution yami cool, but I still have to fight. Mm -hmm. And ngilwa with a body that knows who see I I have given everything I have and everything I am to the space. Yet I must still fight for you to see it. I think I think I think that moment comes more often than is comfortable. Um, and that's why I guess it's been this year especially in this aspect, because it's been the screens who go to Kube, who see there's these low points, who could try it's been. Um, I think if, if I was to go on the fairness of the industry, funny I've got an idea. Okay. Funny I've got an idea. But I love the industry so much. I love radio so much. I believe in radio so much and the power of radio and and I believe in my contribution in the radio space so much that I haven't yet. I don't know how much more I still have in the current context, mm -hmm. but Kutsungu having to constantly fight for people to see Uguti, you're there and your contribution matters and your expertise matters as well. I mean, do you think that's caused by egos? But what causes for people to keep you like a, a, a little rat that's running on a wheel all the time instead of reaching a, a, a plateau moment where we're all in harmony? Because when we're all in harmony, we, we can all work well together. We can all produce the best mm. from each other. Um, just show each other love and kindness. What, what do you think is the fundamental problem there that, that causes this disharmony in, in, in the in this instances that you felt it? I don't think um, this space is ready or I don't think this space knows what to do with Mujas Fazan who's sure of themselves okay. and who knows the value of what they bring to the table. Abandaba um, Pananami, they rock the boat a bit too much. And so to, to contain you from, from tipping the boat, I say, okay. Let's continue. Um, but then, but then at some point, we want to blow up, you know, um, we want to erupt. They, it can turn into a volcano and erupt. And sometimes the eruption is not pretty for everyone. Um, but yeah, I think the main, the main issue is that the industry doesn't know what to do with a lot of Mujahsis. 
I, I get that. But I, I don't think you should take it personally. Mm. Because, um, as you say, we've witnessed throughout stations, we've witnessed it rather, throughout stations where um, powerful women who have impact, mm. whose content changes lives, whose content brings upliftment, enlightenment, um, they've been pushed to the side. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what it's called, uh, removed from contracts or contracts not renewed for that purpose and nothing because of what they do on air. Mm. Um, contracts most of the time are not renewed because of people's egos on the ground. It's never about what's happening on air. And sometimes it's not about merit either. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I keep bumping that. <laughs> 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 um, the, 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 okay, so we, we, as we said, we, we shot um, previously and there were issues behind the scenes. And the last time we shot, you were not in a very good space. I remember um, even to ask you to come and shoot, it took a lot out of you. Mm. And at the same time, it, 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 it's kind of shocking me how at peace you are right now when the level of difficulty you were going through to me it's still the same yeah because the difficulty then was having a terminally ill mother mm. and the difficulty now is that she's no longer with us mm. jesus how are you transitioning you you look you, you look fine yet i promise yeah. you i um I, I i lost my mother eight years ago now and when I tell you that I have moments, I have days, and when I look at you and how fresh it is, I'm like, is she just strong? Is it because she, she, she's got a healthy mental, emotional relationship with herself that she's been able to get to this point? I wouldn't even say quickly, but manage it so well. Mm. Um, what do you think it is? Because you genuinely do look fine. So I think I'm... Looks can be deceiving one. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm not as great as I look. God, mm-hmm. I'm not. Um, I'm not falling apart either. I'm. I'm not. I'm not as messy as Abantabani expect me to be, and I think that's because I got a lot of time with my mother. Um, a relationship here has always been a very close one from from my childhood, um, and when she got sick, na ko na putinga ba na siskati sokbanai. So I, I had a lot of time to condition myself and to prepare myself for what I knew was coming because um, from the last year, I knew things, things were getting real. Things were getting a, a very hectic. Uma was getting a lot sicker than she was. Um, so I, I, I didn't take that opportunity to be with her even when she was sick for granted. Yeah. I, I, took, I took every opportunity that I could to be with her, to take care of her. Um, and I don't know if I should call it a blessing in disguise, but her team of doctors was here in Durban. Mm-hmm. But having her entire team here dictated that she spend a lot of time this side. And that automatically gave me an opportunity to, to be with her quite a lot. And if she wasn't here, I was almost always in Ladysmith. I've, ne- I've never taken as many trips to Ladysmith from Durban like as I did year. in the last year. Yeah. So, um, Namanje, as much as I miss her, I, I wish with all my heart she was still with us. Um, but I, I had time. Are you privy to share um, what condition she had? So, she had cancer. She was diagnosed with um, myeloma. Okay. multiple myeloma in August of 2021 and that is mm-hmm. cancer it's in the bone marrow but the danger with that is that um, it ends up and it essentially then infiltrates every part of your body also what's difficult about it is it's very difficult to stage because even when she was finally diagnosed because um, mm-hmm. but when she was finally diagnosed we didn't get a stage we didn't get a stage we didn't get diagnosed with any other form of cancer but we didn't get a stage one, stage two or whatever but with her it wasn't staged and I think 
the, the problem that we had is Otto Delabake or her team also didn't didn't know much about it. Yeah, to this person is being diagnosed in Namit. <laughs> not yeah. to go to what Namit but it, it's not something that they see all yeah. the time. And the research centers in that side of the world don't exist. Exactly. Yeah. Um so they weren't able to tell us why we don't know what state she's in. So we also assumed since I to go stage by Um only to find out a couple of months later she's not responding to, to chemo because she started chemo immediately. She's not responding to chemo as she should. Um she say cool and jay say na mashala corona now a masha. Um and then things just went haywire around mm-hmm. April last year. And this is only what, like six, seven months after her diagnosis. So isn't it Sheshi Liverpool? Like they were very quick. Um but yeah, e- even as quick as things happened, I still got time with my mother. Yeah. I still got time with my mother. I had said everything I needed to say to my mother. Um, I knew she loved me. I knew she loved our, our entire family. Yeah. Our entire family loved her. And Mengati, I, I, I wish Arapumulanga at the point that she did, it would just be from me being selfish. Mm. I, I, I would not want I would not wish what I've gone through on anyone mm. in Simanan. Yeah. It, it's absolute hell. And can you imagine what she went through if, if it was hell on you? So that's why I, I I can't sit here and say I wish she was still here if it meant her being here in, in the state, state that she was in. Yeah. I'd rather deal with my grief than deal with her being sick. So I think that though it's those kind of things um that I say to myself that helped me be okay, that helped me look okay. Um yeah. How does grief affect other aspects of your life? Grief changes you. Grief changes you. I started grieving me I had to start grieving for my mom's appeal. Because Nan Bon was there's no way that she can make it out of here. Mm. It was too far gone. Um, so I, I, I know that there's part of me that will never be the same again because my mom is no longer around and because I saw her so grief changes you you, you cannot go through and come out on the other side normal as if no, or not normal as if nothing has happened Unjebs that I was in July of 2021 before we got the diagnosis and Unjebs that I have now is different is she a more grown Jeffs, or that's unfair to ask because grief makes you what you don't know either? Mm. I think I I have had to grow up because one of my responsibilities that my mom took care of that I think I, I just took for granted I just always knew Uguti and Uguti will be taken care of Miles were born and now those things um lay squarely on my shoulders um you know having to take care of your mother's estate yeah and having to make sure which the execute the, the, exec- the execution of it happens in um having to take over the primary guardianship of my niece um, which in essence has turned me into a full-time parent mm-hmm. from having nothing no responsibility than like a to having to full time take care of an actual living, breathing human being, it forces you to grow. Mm. Forces you to grow up very quickly. Um, but also, I'm just, I'm extremely grateful. Uguti, everything that transpired has happened. Nami gives space in to to take care of things. Yes. Um. So yeah, you you just put one foot forward every day and, and you go for the best. And you're not feeling exhausted? I was more exhausted with my Sakula. Okay. I was more exhausted with Sakula. Which yeah. direction things are heading in. I remember even saying to my entire family, um, because my mother was in, in a coma for, I think it was 20 days before she passed. I remember saying, as much as I want my mother to live, mm. but I just need 
one thing to happen. Yeah. Unkulunkulu memtui na appeal akagwe nzemanji. Sazu buti our next way forward is to try and get her back on her feet. The rehabilitation process. But unkulunkulu mezo kwenye mtati akamtati manji. And just as pungun as well because it that process of not knowing what's going to happen, that that routine of knowing good thing go three tamba me especially and go seven tamba me especially because as much as she's no longer responsive as a as as a kulum when you talk to her, but also sitting and not going to hospital knowing good is laying there. It kills you. It kills you. It kills you. It kills you. So in pilo ya meal at that point. Mm. My life stopped for a good three months. And that was exhausting. Mm. That was exhausting. You you can't go anywhere in case something needs you, Ngala. Yeah. You can't um, go too far. You can't go too far. Yeah. You can't have your phone off. You can't you can't put it on silent. You in constant in a constant state of anxiety, in a constant state of panic. Um you're really starting to grieve. So now you feel bad because you're grieving. Now you feel bad. You, does your heart want her to die? You, it's just it, that part was the messiest part for me. Um, that was the most exhausting part for me. I am a lot better now. Yeah. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Yeah. More lighter things. Yes. <laughs> You have thank you for this also. <laughs> I like the lighter things part now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you have to create the ultimate um, six to six liner for sure. a peri urban radio station that peri urban black people listen to. Mm. Who are you putting there? Six to six only weekdays. Sure. Okay. Um, I, I'm 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 picking across the board. So across every personality is mine. Is mine to pick. Yes, you got uh, a blank check. Yeah, Saudi gave you a blank check. Ah, yeah. oh, Saudi. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other band? Okay, um, I'm taking an Elam daughter. Okay, and I'm putting her on breakfast. So good. Um, <laughs> I I'm I'm pairing her. I'm pairing her. You get to hear this. Hmm, who am I pairing Anneli with? I, 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 I don't have a name for now, but I'm pairing her with somebody that that can anchor her a bit. Not to she wouldn't be the main, she would be the first voice, she would be the anchor. But somebody perhaps a little less effervescent. Okay. in the current landscape that mm-hmm. we have. Um, but Anel is definitely in for breakfast. I put myself in the mind to twelve. Mm-hmm. Alone. Mm-hmm. Twelve to three, I would put Heezy. Okay. With? Alone. Okay. And he, l- let me rationalize why I'm saying alone. I think what has happened in the industry is we've bulked up our lineup unnecessarily. Okay. And in us, and the, the reason why I think that has happened is because non-radio people have been allowed a space in the industry and mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Umundu men a talent or if a talent can be um, honed, yeah. you know, give them the space to do that. So I've got mm-hmm. no space with mm-hmm. non-traditional radio people being mm-hmm. brought into the industry. But what I do have a problem with how that has been treated is that they are not then groomed to thrive in the radio space. They are not then groomed to respect the radio space. Because Songi space is named Tesoya Kwan. Yeah. TV has Ama rules a corner that you need to abide by. Radio has rules a corner to abide by. But when 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 the contrary happens, that's how I think a lot of program uh, managers have found themselves having to bulk up the lineup to support these these personalities that are not so strong that are not radio strong yes they're strong on other mediums perhaps yes. but they're not radio yes. strong Instagram so they, strong so the integrity of radio then became compromised yeah and to to kind of mask how we've compromised the integrity of radio as a medium we've had to bulk up 
unnecessarily. And we've lost the one thing that Abandu as an audience tune into radio for, which is a one-on-one -on -one with the personality on the other side of the mic. Now you have AMA teams of three or four people talking to each other and leaving Umla Levi out. Sure. And that's why I'm saying we've compromised the quality and the reason why about to listen to radio because we're trying to mask the issues that we've created as the industry ourselves. So that's why in, in a show, in, in, a, in a 9 to, to 3 p.m. Um, cross, I'd, I'd have people on their own. Mm -hmm. I'd have personalities on their own. There's no need to bulk up a team outside of Breakfast and Drive. I hear you. None whatsoever. Okay, so gonna give me drive. So drive. So I've given you breakfast. I've given you nine to twelve, twelve to three. Let me give you drive. Drive. Um, uh, I put a Clarissa. Mm -hmm. A Clarissa. I put with a. Oh, MK Lona Happy Girl. Yes. I, I, I think I, there's a lot there. I'm intrigued by how you're choosing a lot of Kakasi people. It's because born in Bazi, and I think this list is six to six or con. Yeah. It's much like Kakasi. Okay. It's much like Kakasi. Um, yeah, but also, Viva Kakasi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's MK and Clarissa for Drive. MK and Clarissa for Drive. That's interesting. Who's first voice? Um... Clarissa, I love, I love hearing about Ms. Fazani lead mm -hmm. in radio. Um, but also, I think, I think, um, how some people have seen, no, have seen, yes, who have seen, no, sharp. Damn, Harrison, I'm gonna have to put you on weekends, bro. Night show. Um, 7, 7 p.m. Perhaps like a 7, 7 to 10. 10. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I, I really believe in those people that I've, that I've listed. Mm. And it's not to say, mm. you've put me on the spot, so of I've course. had to, to think of people off the top of my head without the, applying myself very much to it. Um, but yeah, I, I think the industry would be a lot safer with those people at the helm. My next question, Okay. Oh, you're going there. This is not the right one. Oh, you're yeah, going yeah. there. Um, uh, Sele, the perfect <laughs> dinner dates. Uh, what's your perfect dinner dates that you want from Um, Sele, I love how I did that. Why <laughs> flush Um, perfect date. Quality time. I love talking. I love talking I to, to people. No. <laughs> I, I love talking to people that I, I, I hold dear. Um, I, okay, I love traveling with them as well. So, baby, nah, let's travel. Let's mm -hmm. go. Um, let's go see the world, you know. And I, I know it's difficult to describe that as a date. But perhaps let's call it a travel date. Yeah, I... Travel date. Travel date is my perfect date with my partner. With my MCLA. <laughs> <laughs> with my MCLA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it herself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a troll. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, I walked right into that one. Yeah. You, 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 you did. If you, if you, you have to, you forced to transition into the next era of your life. Mm. It's 2013 now. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm happy one. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm wealthy too. And I've got I've got a family. Um, I th I think that's that's the next phase phase of, of my life. Yeah. A a big family and wins and experience and enjoy. As unjeps or name big or or unga, or malauleki, you know, who who's not um who's who's not inhibited by anything. I think Sengwenzi, I've experienced. I think all the joys that life has to offer me, and uh, I think the next phase now is to experience that with with my own family. So I'm happy. I'm wealthy. I'm a mom and I'm successful 
in 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 whatever I find my happiness in, I'm successful there because I think yonking though that I don't like defining success by how much money you've made in something. I like defining success in how happy something makes you. Um, oh. So I, I, I want to find success in whatever I find happiness in. If, if it's fragrances and I have a fragrance line and that's what makes me happy, then, then let my success come from there. If it's still radio, then let my success come from radio. God forbid it's your last 24 hours on earth. What are you doing? Oh, since my mom's not around. I would have spent it with her. Mm. I would want the 24 hours to pass quickly so I can go see her. <laughs> oh. uh, I would. I miss that woman so much. I miss that woman so much. Uh, but yeah, since I was going to say Lana, definitely spent it with my niece. Um, she she owns my heart right now. Mm. She owns my heart um, because she owns my mother's heart. Um, I would spend it with my niece and my partner and my dad. Spend it with those three people. You make sure you allocating time with them yep. sufficiently. Yeah. <laughs> call me. <laughs> she <don't attach. laughs> ah, call me. <laughs> um, she is famously affectionately known as Jeff's Zwane. Um, to some, she's known Jabu Lokosiam. Yes. To Babua. To Babua, of course, there's a line. Yeah. Jabu, you know, um, one of the learnings that we've learned today, something that she really uh, emphasized on, is that success is a product of happiness. Um, success is not necessarily about the money that you make, but finding happiness in something, and that thing always keeping you happy. Mm-hmm. And that is success to Jeff's. She doesn't want to tell us more about it, but maybe next time wow. she comes she will give us more info of that. Thank you so much, Jeff, for coming to the show. It's been a pleasure. I hope you had Thank fun you. more than anything. I did. <laughs> ne- next time, hopefully, there will be more tea. Um, or more Life's not about tea. Life's not about tea, really. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I, I enjoyed our conversation. Thank, Thank you. you. Next time, got us to stop. I'm going to say thank you. Okay. Because I'm joyous. I'm going to say Cool. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> the show is Engineer Your Life. I'm Lungelo KM. I'll see you in the next episode.